I'm not a professional. I just want to put that out there, but this is just what works for me. It has been so long since I've made a video uh, that was not a wig video or a hair dyeing video, which is kind of weird because I hadn't even dyed my hair in a long time, but these are makeup swatches. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrinas, and I know it's been a long time and I feel like this series has been a really long time coming, um, but I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna share with you guys my secrets and um, all the mistakes that I've made when it comes to hair dyeing. And the first video up in this series, uh, I don't know how often I'm gonna post these videos, so like, you know, bear with me. I'm in school and I work and I got Etsy. Um, I have an Etsy shop. I'll link it in the bio. I haven't really talked about it that much on here, but yeah. So I know you guys mainly know me for my hair and like all the hair colors that I've done. If you have seen my past videos, that's pretty much mostly what I do. And also fun makeup like this look that I have here. I don't have a video on this makeup, but I do have a TikTok video about how I did my hair. And this is a throwback to some hairstyles I used to do uh, back in the day. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. This is a real throwback. And today I'm going to share with you guys the biggest mistakes that I've made while dyeing my hair and how you can fix them. So take out some notes, write it down, save this video, like this video because that really helps me. Please like the video if you were helped by this. And yeah, number one is not having enough hair dye or hair products. This has happened to me like two or three times and it is so annoying. Like I remember one time I was bleaching my hair and halfway through I ran out of bleach. And I was just like, what am I supposed to do? I already have bleach on my head. I can't like run to the store real quick because by then it would already be processed. And I, yeah, I didn't have enough bleach. So I ended up like bleaching only the front part of my hair. And then I think I wore a wig for a couple days. And then um, until I was able to get some more bleach and then I bleached the rest of it. Like luckily it was just my roots. So I got away with, you know, no one really being able to tell right away. But um, I'm really hoping I can find a picture of it. I think I have a picture on Tumblr where you can literally see my roots are like blonde and my hair at the time was pink. So I was trying to redo my roots, ran out of bleach, and it was so embarrassing. Like it looked so weird. It looks like I had ramen noodles and then just like pink on the rest of my hair. It was crazy. But my biggest tip for that is make sure you're buying more products than you think you need. Like even if you normally use one tub of hair dye, get two just in case because you never know what happens. What what if you drop it? Like what if you're putting the dye on your hair and then you just knock the tub over? And you know, I don't know. But make sure you have more products than you think you need because that will really help you out in the long run, trust me. Number two is bad bleach jobs. I have been guilty of this a couple times. Um, luckily enough, I was able to fix them. Uh, <laughs> luckily enough, I was able to fix them like my last example by waiting a couple days and then going back and bleaching the other parts that I missed. Or sometimes I just didn't even care. Like I would have literally, um, also when I had the pink hair, which is funny, but um, I had bleached uh, my hair and it had, uh, like I had pink roots and there's like a, a spot of brown because my natural hair is brown and then um, pink. So yeah, don't be like me. Don't have a bad bleach job. Also with my last hair color, this one actually, I ended up, um, I guess I left the bleach on too long because I wanted it to be light, to light enough to do yellow, but I ended up not doing yellow because I was afraid of how it was gonna turn out. So I ended up panic dyeing it black. And if you wanna see that video, I'll link it somewhere so you can see it. Always start off with stretched hair if your hair is thick or natural. For me, that usually means doing like a, a good protein treatment the week before and then um, blow drying and straightening my hair and then letting the natural oils get into that and then going ahead and bleaching it the next week. That usually works out great for me. This last time I bleached my hair, I didn't stretch it at all, I don't think. I just tried to do it on curly hair and it did not work for me. So if you want to make it easier for yourself, start off with stretched hair or straightened hair and then section it off in small sections and then work from there. In order to have this not happen, please start off with stretched hair. Stretched hair always works the best for me. Every time I've bleached my hair and it was stretched out first, I didn't have any problems. 
Um, make sure you have enough bleach, enough uh, developer. You want to make sure it's like a like a water like a watery yogurt consistency that usually works for me the best like a yo play like the you know like yogurt consistency that always works for me utilize multiple mirrors sometimes you can't see the back of your head with just like holding it like this you know so what i would do is i'll have one mirror in front of me and then i'll also have a mirror behind me so i can see through the front mirror what's going on in the back of my head and that helps out a lot also, if you have friends or family members that will help you, utilize them. They will do the best that they can and yeah, it's it's, e it's easier to have multiple people trying to help you out um, if you're afraid of bleach. That way you can work faster and then not worry too much about overprocessing. The next one is bleach damage or leaving the bleach on too long. As you guys know, I had that happen to me in my last video. It happens right around here. My hair is fine, by the way, I've been doing protein treatments. If you left your bleach on too long and you notice your hair is a little stringy, um, which is what happens to natural hair, like instead of it being curly or coily, it looks a little like a limp ramen noodle, um, <laughs> which is kind of what my hair looked like, but it's fine now. And what I've been doing is doing the Afro-G two-step protein treatment. It smells really bad, but it does help out a lot. So the Afro G, the Afro G two step treatment has one um, the protein step which you'll do, and then I think I have a video of me using it on TikTok as well. If you guys want to check that out, and then go ahead with their balancing moisturizer, and your hair will feel so strong. It's great. It's my favorite protein treatment. It's my favorite protein treatment, and I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have bleach damage. And number four is not referencing the color wheel, and I'll put a picture up of the color wheel it's really helpful for when you're fading out your hair or when you're dyeing your hair for example um a long time ago before i did my purple pink ombre hair my hair was like this color blonde ish uh kind of but it also had a tinge of green and the way that i got the tinge of green out was by using the color wheel and the opposite from green was red so what i did was i got a little bit of the red dye a tiny tiny bit of red dye it didn't matter what kind it was and then i diluted it with a ton of conditioner so i did that and then um after that my hair was blonde again so it was all blonde instead of having that tinge of green which was amazing which is exactly what i wanted in my case here this is like orangey it looks a lot more orange on camera but in person it's more like a blondish orange and if i wanted to cancel this out i believe i would use a tiny tiny bit of blue and then that should cancel out the orange, but I'm fine with it like this. I plan on fading it out some more. And this was black as you guys know before, but now it looks purple on camera. In person, it looks blue, which I'm fine with. And I just plan on fading this out a little bit more before deciding on what color to do next. I'm not really sure what color I'm doing next, so. You should know what level your hair needs to be before you bleach it. For example, if you want it to go yellow as a hair color, you have to get your hair pretty light, otherwise it wouldn't turn out yellow. And same for like pastel colors, you have to get your hair pretty light. And if you are not aware of this and you try to dye your hair like a really pastel color, you're gonna be disappointed because you have to get your hair super light. More forgiving colors I think are purple. Um, that's pretty forgiving if you want to do like a just like a solid purple and like any other like mid-tone color should be a lot easier and yeah those are my biggest mistakes and how to fix them when it comes to dyeing and bleaching natural hair i hope this video helps you guys out i this i have a lot of other video ideas i've been writing them down as i go so i can film them whenever i have time because i have like four or five pages of video ideas that i've been trying to wanting to do but i haven't done yet because i haven't had the time to do it but i want to get this one out for you guys really quick and um i hope you learned something from this if you did uh, leave me a thumbs up also leave me a comment your favorite hair products you use if you're natural i've been looking for new hair products to use i've been stuck on like the same shea moisture for forever and i want to try something new i don't know what to use yet so let me know thank you guys so much for watching please remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye